What's up guys, Jeremy back here, Consciousness Awake, how's everyone doing, sending you tons of positive energy, um, I'm really feeling like I'm getting into my element, uh, my natural energetic element, um, and again, uh, doing these videos uh, for you guys uh, really helps to uh, fill my consciousness and my heart, uh, my, my spirit with uh, purpose. Uh, and that's what we all need in our lives is to do things that uh, make us feel like we're um, doing something with purpose and then you get uh, the fulfillment, uh, fulfillment from doing that. Uh, so, you know, whatever that is in your lives, you know, uh, try your best to do things that fulfill you and that make you feel like you're uh, giving yourself a purpose uh, here in this reality that we're in. Uh, in this video, uh, I want to uh, um, I want to talk about the uh, uh, the soul net, uh, frequency fence, frequency fence, soul net, the dome, uh, energetic barrier. Uh, there's a lot of different um, labels, you know, and ways people describe um, the soul net, you know, around the uh, around the planet. Um, and this is something that has been uh, talked about. Um, uh, for, for, for hundreds of years, thousands of years, uh, this is not a new topic, a new concept, uh, you know, new theory. Um, I want, I want to explain my own, um, you know, perspective on the soul net, uh, and I'm only going to talk about my perspective through my own experiences while out of body. Uh, I am not going to talk about you know, what other people say or books or anything like that. Uh, this video is solely based on my own out of body, you know, astral projection experiences and my interactions uh, with what we call the soul net, uh, the energetic dome, energetic wall, the barrier. All right, so <clears throat> without getting, um, you know, too complicated with all of this stuff. Uh, let me just start explaining little by little uh, my perspective and my own experiences. Uh, so uh, I have been running into uh, what we, what you'd want to call an energetic dome uh, in in the fourth dimension uh, in the etheric plane uh, is the way I see it. Uh, so the 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 energetic wall, the barrier, the soul net um, is not necessarily in the astral planes. Um, it uh, more or less uh, kind of divides the etheric realm or etheric sky plane uh, from uh, the the astral planes and levels. Um, that, that, that's kind of how, uh, how I see it. Um, you know, as a kid, as a teenager, uh, you know, getting out of body uh, and then uh, just um, eventually getting out of body and getting to that point of of uh, astrally projecting uh, straight up into the sky and flying up into the sky and realizing you can do that at a certain point when I was young. Uh, I started doing that and I started doing it more and more and more uh, and then I was running into what you'd want to call like an energetic barrier, energetic wall. Uh, not every time I was astral projecting uh, but there were a lot of times I would. Uh, I think it just depends on how high up I would, you know, go in the um, etheric plane uh, up into the sky before actually getting into the astral planes. Um, and so, but when I did run into it, uh, it became, uh, at first, it kind of became like a little nuisance for me, uh, a blockade, so to speak, uh, where I would um, reach that membrane. Uh, it's like this uh, semi-translucent uh, uh, membrane looking substance uh, with uh, almost like a crystalline structure uh, th there almost also looks like veins or like uh, wiring or veins um, within that thick membrane um, uh, I would think I, I, I think that the uh, the infrastructure of this energetic barrier or this this wall uh, frequency fence um, the, the, the thickness of it um, is a thicker density uh, compared to the etheric um, 
energy body in the etheric sky. Um, and the, the, as far as feet, like thickness of this barrier or wall, uh, my best guess would be that it's 20 feet to 50 feet thick, uh, maybe 100 feet thick, but it's kind of in, in that range. Um, and um, it's not being used anymore. So the infrastructure of this frequency fence, uh, or people call it a soul net, um, it's the infrastructure of it is still there uh, at the very top of the etheric uh, plane uh, before the astral planes. Uh, but there's like uh, portals running through it. There's tears in it. There's holes in it. Uh, you can get through it very easily. Um, actually, so when I was, like I said, when I was younger, um, and hitting that barrier, not being able to get through that membrane-like substance, um, uh, I would just give up uh, until um, a couple of mentors uh, just told me, uh, just don't give up, you know, just uh, put your willpower and intention into just flying through it uh, with force and, and intent and willpower. Uh, and then uh, I just thought about that and, you know, and then after a few tries, I would just fly right, essentially fly right through it and just break through it. Um, and um, I think I kind of uh, also uh, altered or changed my own uh, vibrational frequency um, uh, of my um, uh, energy body enough too to be able to get through it. Uh, so uh, even though this uh, uh, this structure, this dome-like energetic barrier is there, the infrastructure is there from a long time ago, uh, from when it was more active or used a long time ago, um, even though it's there, um, it, uh, it still messes with the, the frequencies, you know, with the, with the, with the, uh, the vibrational frequency of your energy body. But this is the other thing too, uh, is that, um, if you're in your astral body, which is less dense, uh, it's a higher vibrational frequency, it's less dense, uh, you actually can go, uh, through that soul net, uh, or that membrane, that, that, this dome, you can go through it much easy, much more easily and faster. I think that's why some people, they have out-of-body experiences and astral projections, and they're just in their astral body, and they don't have much of an issue with this wall or barrier. Uh, this barrier becomes more um, uh, more of an um, obstacle sometimes uh, when you are actually uh, projecting out um, into your uh, etheric energy body. Um, because the etheric energy body is a different density, a uh, different density of matter. Um, um, and so um, the, the etheric body is what uh, kind of gets stuck or doesn't get through this membrane, um, uh, this barrier. Uh, so that's why it just depends on which energy body <clears throat> you're actually in when you encounter uh, this, this wall. Um, uh, and that's a, that's a key thing too. That's something to understand. That's something I didn't really understand um, before. Um, also, uh, when you know, um, when I go through that barrier, and if I'm in my etheric energy body, uh, I think what's also happening is that I'm just going right through the barrier. And as I'm doing it too, I'm uh, transitioning. My consciousness is shifting, and just into another another layer of the bodies um it's tr transitioning more into that next next energy body or that less dense body which is the astral layers so i think that that's kind of happening at the same time and that's why um uh getting through that barrier becomes easier and easier as you practice and as you do it more often uh so d definitely if you're running into it um uh, don't let it stop you uh don't let it distract you just understand what i'm saying which is uh, just keep focused and uh, direct your uh, willpower and your intention to just move right past it and right through it. Uh, and you'll just naturally just transition into your other um, less dense uh, energy bodies. And I think that's, that's kind of the, the secret to it. Um, but yeah, this, the, the soul net, um, you know, this, this dome, uh, this is something that um, definitely was in more use and it was more active uh, in the distant past. It's something that used to be used uh, until it was shut down. 
Um, but when you see it, um, you can see, like I said, um, like it almost looks like um, uh, electrical lines um, that are kind of embedded into that, uh, that, that, that semi-translucent membrane. Um, and um, you can see how at some point it was used as a frequency fence where they would just run a certain frequency through like electric through electricity uh, through this whole membrane, this uh, you know energetic barrier uh, to keep um, uh, to to help to keep consciousness trapped uh, into lower vibrational frequencies uh, within this physical dimension in this you know this earth matrix. Uh, so, uh, so it's really there, uh, but it's something that was used in the distant past. Um, it's not active anymore, uh, at least from what I've noticed and from my own experiences, it's not active anymore, and it doesn't look like it's been active. Uh, it, it looks like it's been not active, not activated for quite some time. Um, uh, but yeah, so what, what I think what they used to do, whoever was, uh, you know, in charge or, or, or using that, this dome around the, the earth, um, I think what they were doing is people would die uh, and they would have out-of-body experiences. They'd leave their physical form. Uh, they go into their energy bodies. Uh, or people were just astral projecting in general, right, uh, while they were sleeping or, you know, intentionally. And um, they would get up, get out into the etheric sky and they would get to that point of where they hit that barrier. And then uh, the frequency fence would essentially uh, uh, have a certain frequency uh, to where... Uh, it's almost like electrified in a way with a certain frequency to where uh, you weren't able to move past that and you were literally uh, after death uh, or if you're astral projecting, uh, you would not be able to get through that barrier and get into the astral planes. Uh, so why why is it not activated anymore? Uh, I, I don't know. Um, it just looks like, a, it's almost like, um, it just, yeah, I mean, with, with all the, uh, the, the portals and the cracks and the tears and openings and all of the things that are just kind of within that, this, this, uh, dome and barrier, um, you know, it, you, one, it, it leads one to assume, uh, just visually from out of body experiences to, uh, realize that it's just something from the distant past. So it's nothing to be concerned about or worried about and just know that, uh, there's a lot of different ways to get through it. Um, and also if you do, uh, run into this, uh, you know, this barrier, um, this wall, dome, whatever you want to call it, uh, fence, uh, soul net, um, if you do run into it, uh, just know that you can shift your, uh, willpower and your consciousness to shift into one of your astral layers and just get right through it really quick. Or you can just go through it just in general through willpower and uh, intention. All right. Well, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments down below. Like the video if you found it useful, uh, interesting. Um, and, um, you know, if you want me to talk more about this kind of thing, please let me know. All right. Peace, guys. Talk to you soon.